We would like to invite to the stage His Excellency Han Duk Su, Chairman and CEO of the Korea International Trade Association, former Prime Minister and former Ambassador of the Republic of Korea to the United States. He will be introduced by Ambassador Tom Hubbard. Well, uh, the second proudest thing for me this evening, after having uh, recognized that AIG is back, is to recognize that Han Duk Su is back. <laughs> uh, you know, what, what can I say about, uh, about Dr. Ambassador Chairman Han Duk Su? I think Han Duk Su is, is an example of the wonderful public servants in Korea who through the years brought about the Korean miracle that we all celebrate in our relationships tonight. Uh, Han Duk Su uh, has, uh, has been a, a mere civil servant. <laughs> uh, he's been a mere diplomat, like a lot of us. Uh, he's been a deputy prime minister. He's been a finance minister. He's been prime minister. Uh, but what Ambassador Han Duk Su did uh, for this relationship is almost single-handedly inspire, promote, and bring about the free trade agreement uh, that uh, we all celebrate as such an important new element of our relationship. And so I, I'm proud to have Dr. Han as a friend. I'm really proud to invite him back to accept this honor, uh, the Van Fleet Award, uh, in honor of what he has done for this, this relationship. And we'll invite Ambassador Han to say a few words since he hasn't had No, 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 please, please, some words. Yeah. Will you say something? Can we ask you? Yeah, can you? Yeah, we got it. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Hubbard uh, and Ambassador Minton. Uh, it's a really honor, and I'm most humble to be the recipient of this very precious and distinguished award. I first of all would like to thank you. And also I'd like to thank Mr. Heyman as a chairman of the dinner committee for including kimchi on our main plate. <laughs> it's a really very important symbolic, you know, dinner in including kimchi with such a wonderful steak. Uh, because, as you know all, now the prime task of Korea after this FTA is that we should combine e e economy, trade, and culture. And Korean food is certainly one of the most important part of that element. And Suman Lee was here tonight I, you know all the lines of very young Korean Americans standing before Suman Lee, because we know that culture is much more stronger than economy, politics, and all others. Thank you, Suman Lee, for coming. Korean government's policies have already been well explained and said by our distinguished uh, Ambassador Che and others, so I don't have to repeat. But I really would like to appreciate and uh, would like to deliver my thanks to all of you who are present here. I have been to this dinner several times, but without your support, who are present here tonight, FTA, might not have been possible. I can definitely can say that. You know, Korea society, 
did uh, several events in Atlanta, in Chicago, in Pittsburgh with our uh, hardworking embassy staff together, not only mentioning about economics, but mentioning about Korea's traditions, such a long history of our strong ever alliance, and also culture of Korea. That's Korea society. You know, that's a very important element in our, uh, in our uh, you know, campaign for getting the approval from US Congress. Also, I'd like to mention, uh, you know, Mr. Bill Rose, who was the co-chairman of Korea US Business Council, who always held a meeting when FTA was at stake in Washington, in California. So thank you, Bill, for your support. And I also would like to uh, pay my thanks to uh, Chamber of Commerce, US Chamber of Commerce, with the very, very distinguished leadership of uh, Tam Overby and Mr. Donahue, and of course, Bill Rose, who was a very important member of that organization. We work together. And lastly, I'd like to thank our embassy staff, most of, most of whom are not present here, but uh, Ambassador Che is actually representing the, the distinguished staff of Korean Embassy in Washington, D.C. They work more than 14 hours a day, uh, quite surpassing the normal standards of Korea, who are who, Koreans who are very hardworking. So I was just comply with what they want me to do. So with FDA in the bank, so to say, where should we go from now? Our organizations, which is Korean International Trade Association, is working very hard in bringing the fruit that we had expected from this agreement. We established a special center for integrated FTA service organizations. If you receive any business card of the members of our Korean International Trade Association, on the back, we have the member, we have the number 1566-5114. That's the call center number. <laughs> so from all across the world, you can call that number. And we can connect you to any organization in Korea which can make the best maximum out of this FTA. So feel free to use us. That's what we are doing. We are going, we went to, during the campaign, we went to 31 states and we visited 61 cities. So rather than most of the Americans, I know I have been to the places, to more places in the United States than others. So most of them ask me, which city is the best for living? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have never experienced anything that from, on the basis of which I can say, uh, I can compare the one city uh, with another because I just went to the meeting place we went to the forum, we went to the hotel, and in the morning we quit. <laughs> so, uh, although I've been to many places, still I'm a newcomer to the United States. That means we have so many things to do in the future. The spirit, uh, US and Korea are working together on politics, on security, on economics, and on trade, and, and on free, a flow of capital. One spirit is very, very, you know, uh, very clear. That's the spirit that was emphasized by our presidents, Lee myung Bao, and, you know, presidents of the United States, Barack Obama. You have just seen before some of the, you know, photos of President Obama. That was the photos uh, where President Obama said, Gachi gapsida, that's let's go together. And he exactly said the same spirit in Seoul in March 
at, uh, when he delivered a speech at Korean international you know, universities. And our president's last October, when he paid a state visit to the United States, he delivered a you know, speech before the joint session of Congress. He exactly emphasized that spirit of going together. That's the spirit on which we will work together, not only in security and trade and free flow of capital, but also on culture and on assisting many countries uh, who are desperate uh, in being developed. We have the experience, and the U.S. has the experience, and technology and good educational system. There are so many areas we can work together. We will work together in the future, not only in economics, but also in security also. As former Prime Minister Chung mentioned, now Korea and the United States are serving the peacekeeping operations in more than 12 countries. That's Korea that is changing. And there are so many areas we can work together. That's the spirit of the United States and Korea in the future. So God bless the Republic of Korea and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you very much. For